Good evening and welcome to Gaming with Scott Presents Behind the Masks, a Southgate Media Production. In this series, our heroes remove their masks so that you, the listener, can learn more about the player behind the character. We discuss topics of interest and encourage our players to go off the rails and down the rabbit hole. We hope this helps our audience get to know us better. Discussions and insights begin just after this music. Hello, this is Laura Edwards, chair of In Conjunction 36, the crossroads of the multiverse in Indianapolis, and this is Gaming with Scott. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming with Scott. I am here with Dan. Hi. And Rico. Who wandered off. He did wander off, didn't he? Oh, he's going to get lemon water, that pineus. He is the king of pies. He is, oh, what a jerk. We are here at Incon. We're here at In Conjunction. If you're wondering why he's getting lemon water. It's real happy. It's hashtag Incon 2016. How you doing tonight, Dan? Yeah, I've been better. You've been to the con? I got here and went straight to the bar fleet. Woohoo! Bar fleet, bar fleet, bar hip, hip. fleet. Bar fleet. <laughs> hip hip. Bar, bar fleet. fleet. Hip, Hooray. Hip. Bar fleet. Drink up. You you forgot what the table sounds like when you put this stuff down, didn't you? Yeah, sorry about yeah, that. No, it's all good. I just had to go fill up my water bottle with water. With 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 regular water? No, don't be crazy. This is lemon water. All right, that's what I thought. It's amazing. Now I want lemon water because my water bottle is empty, and I'm all like, oh, hey, Dan, oh, you should man. go get him some lemon water. No, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't, Why well, would I do that? I can, uh, because you, you were last talk. at the table. Oh, and uh, I, Scott and I set all this up by ourselves. <laughs> That's gonna, not my fault. I'm gonna go no, get it some is. You're a failure as a key grip. Go get him some water. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll go get On him some water. Then. Alone I'll go now. Get I have to All say right. no. All right, I'll go get him some water then. All right, you got me some. Because Rico's a man. You got He's me a man. Some I'm sorry. Are you looking for your water bottle? I don't understand. I don't know what happened. I'm just trying Chug, to listen. Josh Chug. has come up to the table and is not on mic. Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll give okay. you another he looks, water he's bottle. He's making a face like so, he just put poop in his mouth. Looks so <laughs> originally there was a candy cart that came by with water bottles on it, and we yeah. all kind of grabbed a water bottle. Okay. Well, Josh grabbed a water bottle first uh-huh. and was like, I got a water bottle. So Rico picked up the water bottle, and Josh looked at him and went, oh, get off my water bottle. So Rico went, <laughs> and like licked all over the t- and Josh just looked like like tongue molested the bottle right right <laughs> like tongue molested like the nipple like the just <laughs> had it in his mouth it was um, it was pretty horrible I've seen that movie all the way right. yeah exactly <laughs> um with te- it had teeth right it was terrible um and just basically tongue molested the entire bottle and uh Josh still has that look on his I will stop now I'll, yeah I'll quit. Well, it was a bad thing so do you not like people tongue molesting your bottle I don't know. <laughs> well, some people pay good money to have. I've I've seen the internet. Yeah, people do. The interweb says that. <laughs> right, and I, we're and not that was, yet. Right, and that was his, <laughs> no, but that was his big thing because it was all about consent. He was like, I didn't, and it was like, well, I'm not. You know, you could just blah, 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 that's fine. But they, they, it was a. I think Josh felt like his consent was violated, and mm-hmm. that was that was the issue. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. As long as he doesn't tongue molest your bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Every your time hole. he drinks out of this water bottle, he's going to have to remember me putting my mouth all over it's it. It's fun. I can't say what I want to say because, you know, PG-13. So the captain well, of the captain of the you're, you're gonna looked at me and yeah, told me. No, no, no I'm not going to bleep uh, it. Tongue <laughs> it. Oh. Well, I said I'm not going to bleep it, you a-hole. Wait, what <laughs> you did you just say? You just said that Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> nothing. I said nothing. Oh. I, I, I wasn't going to edit anything. I was going to slap the bumper on it, bumper on it, and throw it out into the world. Um, oh, who will get kicked out for what? No, oh, okay. All right, well, then. Really? Fine, I will bleep shit. Oh. Jesus, mother. All I got to do is delete the track. Just delete the whole track. Just delete everything he has said. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you. Don't delete me. Yeah. You're my new editor. You just got volunteered. Uh, oh, but Josh, but Josh, it's not that hard. You just, right? It sounds like somebody volunteered to be gone. editor. 
and he is gone. There it is. That's how that works. It You'll is. be my editor. <laughs> no. Run, run away. Yep. That's how I that take works. back all my opinions. Yeah. And that's what typically happens. <sighs> uh oh. I see a roving uh, middle finger. It's wandering by. Oh, uh, maybe he he's, doesn't. Maybe he doesn't know where he doesn't know where his panel is again. I think that's the mating call of the wild editor. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The mating call of the wild editor. That's awesome. Oh, that is fantastic. Do you know what the mating call of the wild sorority girl is? No. I'm so drunk. <laughs> I'm so drunk. Which is a horrible non-consent rapey, rapey kind right. of joke. That's terrible. This is from the. I, I was told it by somebody who is your age, Scott. So you know, I figured Wait, it was a different what, time. Okay. What? Uh, Scott's me, only twenty nine. What are you talking about? <laughs> let, let me let me back up here. What is my age? Like old? Oh my gosh! Somebody's <sighs> getting kicked off of the podcast. Wait for it. This is the last <laughs> time anybody ever heard of Dan Gentry. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Dan. What? Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got to bleep it anyhow. i got to edit this <laughs> mother. Okay. Well, look at how that works. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a What's good with thing. the alien? There's an alien over there. Um, do you know what the theme of this year's In Conjunction is, I Dan? I have no clue. Rico? In Conjunction, Crossroads of the Multiverse. This is oh, a, okay. This is a science fiction convention, Dan. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I figured you'd... I've been here twice. This is the probably second time. Have the done first your time homework. was like a decade ago. Longer wow. than a decade ago. I was like 19. <clears throat> Look at that. Dan Gentry got a press badge to a con that so he knows that nothing about. 39? Like six. Five. Four, three, two, one. No, five. I'll be six of the year. Launch. I'll be six of the year. I'll You're be 35? 36. 46? Yeah. Oh, I 36. did not know that. I didn't know you were 36. 46? Thir- no. I'm not as old as you. Yeah, I'm not 46 either. Close enough. Sure. Close why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> You keep talking, all I hear is... Oh, oh, yeah. Right, right. That's, exactly, that's that thing right there. <laughs> Not with a horse. That's that's too that's too domesticated. Yeah, that's, that's enough of that, Dan. You're enough. done. You're done. <sighs> so you're in a mood, huh? Uh, yeah, you're not like fully <laughs> ready, willing to commit to well, the mood. Well, see, here, like... Okay, so this is why I'm freaking out. Two years ago, I went to Colorado to visit uh, Chris, right? Chris who? Uh, Shaman? Yeah, big Chris. Right. Sh- Shanahan. Sh- I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Shemana I know who that is. is it? No. I don't know. His, his last name's hard to pronounce. I don't think I know who that is. So um, continue. He, Carry on with that. You, you've met him. Um, I don't if you, think if so. you were at the the LARP, at which LARP? The uh, Beach Grove Lodge, where I had no. Nope. Never went to the Beach Grove Beach Grove Lodge. That, LARP. Never went. That, the fa- the famous evening of the where Chris played the Beach Grove Lodge. I wasn't there. I've just heard. Wild felonious rumors. How'd you guys get into the Beach Grove Lodge? Freeland. Oh, that'll do it. Um, anyway, and I hear it went horribly, horribly wrong. Secret Mason connections. Oh, really? At least for me, I was playing Jimmy as I do on the the Marvel podcast, but as a vampire, right? Um, and our listeners just did a double take. Go ahead. Right. The uh, is this the one where they did the where they were playing Sabat? No. Okay, then that's not the one I'm talking about. Okay. There was another one where they actually had a Sabbat game there, and they went into Lodge Room and performed Ritual oh. when some of the old guard walked in on them <laughs> at the altar, <laughs> and things went less than a... That was the last time there was Lodge I was about to say. R- yeah, right. I'm a firm believer that Sabbat shouldn't be locked. Yeah. Sabbat should be left on paper. J- J- uh, anyway, hmm. Jimmy had mistaken identity. He was mistaken for his sire. His sire had be- uh, become Sabat. Uh, Chris came into town while he was visiting, and he came to the game and played Jimmy's sire. And then that no, no good can come of this. It, 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 you should ask Elliot about it because he said Chris played my character so well. He thought I was playing my character. Well, we can't nice. we can't talk to Elliot because he's decided he's not going to record. Right, with he's us. got more important things to do. Like yeah, like go he to con events, stupid be panels a, about being an yeah. author and a writer and, and whatever. Editor now to go editor <laughs> wild editor now to go back to my original story. Forget him and his stupid dreams. Sorry, I went Dan. to go visit this gentleman, Chris, and yeah. while I was out there, my dog Tigra passed away. Oh, uh, sucks. Had, my dad had to put her down for me. Uh. Oh, really rest in pepperonis, Tigra. And um, that sucks. My other dog Fiero. And this was recently? This is two like... Two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Okay. When Tiger right. passed. Fierro, right. my dad went to Colorado and went on vacation, and Fierro had been... Well, I'd been living with my dad anyway, but I moved back into my house now, and I brought my dog with me, and now Fierro's not been eating for three days. So kind of freaking out. 
Okay. Is it just because you moved and she's got to get used to it or whatever? I'm, I'm guessing or? that's Yeah, do you think maybe problem? it's anxiety from it being uprooted be. and then moving? That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. I've tried. He doesn't. He'll like. I don't know. Anyway. Sausages, bacon. Has he been outside to get a sniff of the lands and whatnot? Yeah, what not? I've, I let him outside for about an hour. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we'll it might just it be anxiety. Hopefully, um, hopefully, hopefully, he, 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 she, he'll calm he, down. He, hopefully, he'll, he'll he's relax like and start eating again. Ten. Yeah. Ooh, wow, that's well, an 10, old dog. 11. He's a mutt. No, oh, oh, mutts live a long time. Well, Brian's dog Scruffy is a mutt, and that dog's like thirteen years old. Yeah. Well, Fiero, he's got hip problems. I don't know. Fiero, like, he he found me outside my house. I didn't find him. He came running up on me. Oh, like, was, he just, was he just a stray that you rescued? Yeah. Oh, look at you. You're he a came, good guy. He came running up on my porch, sat down, was wagging his tail. I'm like, I guess I have a second I'm dog. happy to call you brother, man. That's really cool of you. Really cool so, of you. Right on. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yo, I need that fun wagon to come back. I want me some more of them Kit Kats and Reese's. No shit, man. But yeah. I, I've got a... And then what you need to do is get a water bottle and do horrific things to and it. And then give it to jo- Josh. No, with Josh's under the table, and he'll be like, oh, no, that's not yours. <laughs> oh, that's... No, I can't do I, I I hope to see them this weekend again because I have to get them another bottle. I told them so I would. So what have you guys done at the con today? Have you just sat here and recorded? Uh, we recorded our opening intro. Yep. Um, we recorded a Behind the Mask. Yeah. Uh, we did some bar fleet stuff. We ate at the bar... We went into the restaurant, which is a brand new restaurant. They've like knocked down that half of the building and it's rebuilt it completely. Super fancy. It was really good. Cool. I mean, it was like. Oh yeah, we interviewed John Kennedy. Cool. Yeah. I saw Speaking him of John station. Kennedy, there he is. Hello, John Kennedy. Hi, John. Emperor John. You should Emperor come sit John. Down. Good to Oliver see you again. Kennedy. I saw you at Otis. a gas station. Otis Kennedy. Oh, what did I say, Oliver? You said Oliver. Oh, I meant and Otis. it's Otis. Here's a mic. I don't. I don't know. You if can come and tell us on. about your London trip. But he but did, it's okay. He, we, he, we already did. We, we already, already yeah. did the standing breast plates. We were good. Yeah, we already did it. Uh, wait, I can't hear you. You're not on mic. Is the is the orange mic even on? Yeah, it is now. Yeah, I got you now. Well, I don't know. Uh, last time I was on the podcast, uh, we were eagerly awaiting the uh, the results of a death match between uh, Rico and Josh. And it where looks like is it's Josh? Started. Yeah, where yeah. is Josh? Is he here? Gone. So uh, I take it Josh is dead. Yeah. yeah that's yes. we, We've eaten him already. Yeah. And uh, you said you were going to use a phaser. Yeah, that yeah. happened. Just that happened. Just gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put on kill. Uh, he, he vaporized we, yep. you. We used his bones to uh, make our uh, tools and his skin Put to line our canoes. Oh, oh. Yes, well, we did use every part of him. You, yeah. As you, as the Native Americans would want. Yes, yes precisely. Please take precisely. A and if you feel like talking to us, feel yeah, free to, feel sit free down. to stop by when you do a thing. We'll kick John off. And all righty, oh, wow. we'll, 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 we'll see you in about an job. hour. Yeah, we'll see you there. Woohoo! Yay! Yeah, bar fleet, dude. What you know about bar fleet? Right there, it is. What, you okay there? Yeah, uh, uh, some uh, malfunctions. You know, it normally Uh-oh. it stays up for hours, but this time it's just drooping. <laughs> did, you, oh. did you remember to take oh. your pill? Oh. Oh. No, uh, let me see if I can fix that. That's, oh, it's fine. I don't mind holding. That's it. totally oh, okay. bad. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, just I, use things your, I've said before. Right, <laughs> um, use your other hand and pretend it's someone else. Then it's uh, just I'm, it I am using everything. my other hand. There you go. So. Excellent. Your off hand. Is what there is one hand below the table. I have no idea what it's doing. There you go. That's I do, but I'm not saying because this is. Because this is a family this friendly, is a family friendly, friendly show. This is PG thirteen, which I guess thirteen year olds would probably. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I digress. So, did anything else uh, interesting happen since I was gone? Uh, did anybody else want to challenge me for emperorship of the United States? No, no not yet. Not yet. Okay, not yet. But not we are keeping. We are keeping a list of the people that we will need to execute. I mean, that will challenge you. Okay, that, that's that okay. Will, you'll need to them have them lean against the wall, perhaps. Yes, precisely. Right. It'll be very, very good. So oh, no, yeah. There'll be no more walls in John Kennedy's America. There it is. Walls <laughs> divide. So, so I think it's better if we have no walls. Are anywhere. you going ha- to have Mexico take the walls down? Uh, hmm. No. Uh, I'm instead just going to have Americans take down the walls, and all houses will instead be going to a very teepee shape, which I think is just more environmentally friendly for reasons I haven't decided yet. He's the only candidate who promises things, guys. So, I know. So roofs are fine. Just take the walls off so they're, you can get it like a cross breeze. What yeah. about the glass okay. wall? Uh, no, because you still use the word wall. Yeah. No, what if, what it, if it's a half wall? No, uh, no walls. No, they're still using no the wall. walls. In fact, anything with wall in it has to go. The Harvey Wallbanger's got to go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> narwhals? Gone. Narwhals, unfortunately, they have to go. Oh, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. That's going to be it. I don't know their name, church, but I should probably yeah. get someone on that to uh, make sure they are. The Waltons right. will also have to go. You know, I'm going to miss them the most. Wall Street. Uh, yeah. The Waltons. Not going to miss yeah. Wall Street. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I forgot. Has not actually had a wall on it in a while. Yeah. So right, which is poorly well, made. Well, it had a wall, but it's sort of a <laughs> glass ceiling style wall. Ceilings well, are okay. We, I have nothing against ceilings. Ceilings keep out birds. Do they? We Without all, walls? So, so I have a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old, and we recently, uh, within the last week, showed them Hitchcock's The Birds. Oh, God. Um, which was an amazing thing. They were like, uh, the, the conversation after the movie was much more scary, but uh, I'm glad you're keeping ceilings in case Hitchcock's The Birds come to pass. If the birds you know, revolt against us, we will have ceilings and roofs. That'll be well, good. It's a one-on fact that birds, uh, but the way that they can tell the surroundings, that electromagnetic center of their brain, which gives them the ability to detect true north, um, it, uh, it, it cannot go through ceilings. It's impossible. It could go forward and backwards, but not up and down. So I think we're all safer well, without that's, them. Uh, and that's how Kirk beat Khan was the Z-axis. To bring it, you know, all the way back to... Math? No, in conjunction, multi crossroads Sorry, of the multiverse. Oh, okay. Ah, I yes. see what you did there. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, I actually have to go get uh, meet um, with uh, several heads of state All right. for uh, a state dinner. Thanks for stopping Which by, might be a steak dinner, but probably not, because are, are believe it or not, emperor ship doesn't pay that well. Are the heads oh. still attached to their state? Oh, no. good Lord, no. I, I, I like to look at the heads as I eat, um, and uh, occasionally I have to do some maintenance, like clean out their noses and their ears. Right. But I enjoy it, because it's very calming. You never know. You really find yourself when you're trimming someone else's nose hairs, which is a fact you could just you know t- carry into your normal everyday yeah. life. It's like polishing things, you know. Yeah. Like if you've got a collection, you got to... Only with oh, tiny scissors. Not. With tiny scissors. Yes. I okay. use large scissors. Okay, well then, your emperorship, we will not keep you any further. Uh, hail John Otis Kennedy, Pug Life. Pug Life. Thank I'm with you. you. Hashtag... Hashtag pug life. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. So, uh, yeah, that was the entirety of the... Uh, so we did that with John. Very right. similar to what we that just sort of a did recap. with John. Very, very... There were a lot of callbacks there. Um, we So we had that earlier. Because Dan was asking, like, well, what have you guys done so far? And I'm like, well, he, there was a segment. And there it is. Now we're going to have hashtag pug life mm-hmm. with, with uh, Otis and his uh, emperorship. Mm-hmm. And we'll all be good. And so we did that. Um, we uh, set, did the limited setup that we had and did a quick tear down with stuff underneath the table so that we could go to the bar fleet. Uh, we'd go have dinner, which we ate. It was right. really good. I was surprised at how good it was. Maybe it was get? like really good. Um, I got the burger with bacon and pepper jack. Uh, he got one. He copied my order. And then... Uh, you filthy liar. <laughs> I ordered first. You copied my order. Don't listen to him. He lied. That, I, that may or may not be what happened. <laughs> it was a delicious burger. It was oh, really it was good. So good. Uh, and Josh got the steak. He got the New York strip with uh, oh, wow. asparagus, uh, asparagus and, holidays. and holidays. It was really good. Oh, man. Um, I'll tell you what. This yeah. Oh, it was got tasty. some great food. Um, and then the like uh, the uh, snack cart came by. Yeah. They had oh, I want can- that snack the candy cart here right now. It was right so now. good. Uh, and they told us that there was also a con suite that has snacks and other stuff in it. Okay. There, there are some there. Yeah, there's chips there. The, the pickings are getting kind of low though, because it's about nine o'clock. The people have raided that room. Yeah, it has been marauded. Just it, it, yeah, that's the thing. They um, also have uh, ice water and lemonade in in the in the room. Oh, because they've got lemon lemon water stations around, like not just normal so water, but lemon water. It's really good. Yeah, it is. Cool. It's pretty fire. And I mean, I was it like, ref- cleanses wow. the palate. Uh, yep, very refreshing. Very. It was almost like prosecco on a hot summer day. I mean, if I had to. Go there. And I right. Uh, then I went to Barfleet. I don't know how you snuck past me because I was sitting literally right you in front of the no, door. You have no peripheral vision. Oh, stuff. and you, so you just walked. Is right. What I'm, okay. I, d- <laughs> I don't. I didn't. And I was like, how did I miss Dan? Oh, jeez. No, I have none. Yeah. You're absolutely You missed right. me and D. I know. I was, which I was like, what the? F- okay. Yeah. And he's yeah. wearing a lime green shirt and I'm wearing a purple shirt. Right. Uh, and he's going to be, kinda he's going to be a cop soon. Is it going to be? Is that what's going to That's fine. That's still like carry a gun, right? Right. I mean, he carries a gun anyway, but now he's going to be in a, a He's going to be able to write you a ticket. I told him, I was like, I hope nice. you pull me over. That way, you know, I can get out of it. Nice. You know, exactly. That's why you can be like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. So he's going to text him and be like, hey, where are you patrolling? And then, like, go speeding through there. Absolutely. And then just, wah, just floor it. Speaking of, there's D right there. Over to your uh, left. Is he carrying behind there he is. You're right. How, did I, how the hell did I miss that no. shirt? I don't understand. Pull up a chair, D. Hi, D. How you doing? Pull up a chair and a mic. All right, I can do this. We got an orange right there. I fix I fixed the orange mic stand, so it's not so. Oh, um, did you? Thank floppy. you, sir. Yeah. And, and, and so why you, don't you pull that up? Put the uh, the. Hey, there you go. And and if you do it like this, it works out really well. Yeah. 
If you do it, you just want to kind of. You want me to keep grip for you, D? There you go. Don't, don't let him That's keep perfect. grip. Some kind of grip. You're doing what? You're good. All right. You're going to. Don't. Yep. Ah. Uh, oop. Erp. Erp. Oh. Oh, dear Lord. Please, Dan, help him. Very good. Oh, dear. You're breaking it. You're now, ruining it. God, Dan, quit breaking stuff. Wow. Okay, there you God, go. I'm getting now, really sick and tired slide of that, breaking stuff. You're, don't. Oh, this is really good radio. This right here is. This is riveting. Is you it don't, like fully art? You don't. Both of them is not. Okay. Put that in front of your face. Say Pull hello. It to your face. Don't lean into it. Yeah, don't it lean into face. it. Do, do like this. Yeah, the, ah, bring it back with you. Otherwise, you get really uncomfortable really fast. And, and you want to go sh- off mic. There you go. There you go. Now, go ahead and say your name. Oh, there we go. I did it. I did it all by myself. What? What was it? He needs a sound D. check, D. Keep talking. D. I, I am D. Oh, there you D go. D is who I am. So that's a little say, loud. I am legend. I am legend. There, there it go. is. Oh, sounds okay. good. D, beautiful. your voice sounds fantastic. Well, parts of them are legend. Buddy. Thanks. Right. Yes. Dairy. Sounds really good. <laughs> Wait for it. I'm just your standard nerd. Dairy. Okay, go ahead. What'd you say? So, as as we were saying, uh, Scott and Dairy. I earlier, oh, uh, D is here at the convention. Doesn't have a badge. No, I do not no have badge, a badge. But uh, he's still here and able to come talk to us. You don't have a badge? I do oh, not have no a badge. badge. Might, might be able to. Okay. All right. We'll check and see. Are you? Uh, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll talk about it. All right. Okay. You might be dun, me for the rest of the weekend. Just dun, saying. Dun, dun, dun. What? You might be me for the rest of the weekend. Just he's saying. He's saying. He's saying. Ooh, he, he's interesting. Saying he might let you use yeah, his badge. Yeah, you get to use that white privilege. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. white privilege. I'm down for that, too. We do not condone in any way, shape, or form any of the bow or chicka or wow in uh, what about, those, those fashions. What about wow wow? <laughs> we'll talk later. So, anyhow, <laughs> how you doing? Not too bad. What, what's going on today? I am attending the party. Barfleet. Indeed. Oh, you can't go. Barfleet. Sorry, you've been banned. No been cops banned. allowed. No co- I'm not a cop. Yet. Not yet. Yet. Oh, that's no fair. cops allowed at Barfleet parties. I think that was in the bylaws. Is it really? No, right. it wasn't. Oh, okay. no, I, I got you. No, no, yes, lie. it is. It's completely true. Making stuff up now. One hundred percent. I need to get my guys' mic stand like you guys have your mic stand. That looks awesome. It works out really well. What? What mic stand? What are you? The way you, all three of us have our mics. Yeah. Yeah. Versus what? Oh yeah. There you go. You flip your just, you know, yeah. You need to get to that. The show. You need to get that going on because well, actually you're, you've got it all. You, you know, I'm late now, to the show. He's now just I'm late gonna, to adjust his mic. Oh, now I'm going to lean back and really get into the dope. Oh God, Dan's up. Uh oh, Dan's Dan's going to come fix Dan's. it for me. I'm fine right where I am. I ain't scooting anywhere. I think he's good. I was here first. I think I'm going to go like that, and he'll be perfect. It's yeah, just not going to work. He's just going to have to suffer. Dude, it's hey, it's, I'm not Whoa. suffering. Hello. Sorry. Candy cart. Oh, wait. okay. So, where? <laughs> damn it. Rico's like, what? Where? Where? Oh, I was hoping, I was hoping the candy cart was for no. real there. No, I'm just kidding. I... So, you from missing for that. something? Well, I wish. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on for a weeknight. Yeah? Oh, man. This what do you mean? Is wait, amazing. whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean by weeknight? I've been at work all day. Oh, okay. All right. I was like, what do you mean by you people? Whoa. I was like, weeknight? What are we talking about here? Does that girl have water wings on? Is that Some young? of us on the low totem She's probably pole probably go swimming. Oh, okay. Oh, there okay. is going to be a masquerade ball here. Also, I forgot tonight? to mention or that tomorrow night. Uh, I think it's tomorrow night. Sweet. There's going to be a masquerade ball. Can we you have believe got it? to interview people. For I that. can yeah, indeed right? believe that. What are you coming yeah. uh, as for your inter- uh, masquerade ball, there, Dan? I can't believe Sean just I'm walked not. past me, didn't say hi. That's Sean who? Sean's kind of like that. Sean, the only other black guy that's here. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, Sean. So of course you well, have to you know describe him, him like exactly. That. Of course, I remember his name. That's like the bond is deep. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's really that's the bond is deep. Okay, so you're going to Starfleet, uh, Star Barfleet, Blue Bar, Valor, Barfleet. That one. Yep, yep. We're going to Barfleet tonight. Barfleet, indeed. So you're going to Barfleet. Yes. R- Rico, you're going to Barfleet. I'm going to Barfleet, but I can't drink a whole lot because I have to work tomorrow morning. I got to drive home. Dan's going to Barfleet so that he can squee on what's his name. Oh, Rockney S. O'Bannon. Yeah. I'm going I'm to straight up fanboy. Yeah, you are. Yeah, aren't you? I don't know if he's going to be there tonight or tomorrow, but he's been invited. If he's there tonight, tomorrow. I'm going to fanboy my, like, my, so hard. My understanding is he will be there tonight. I will yeah. be there to witness the fanboying. Right. And that's when I want like video. I mean, I don't mean to be that way, but I, uh, mean, I can see you. You're, I know we can't. We I understand can't. we can't. I understand I'm not, that probably completely. not going to uh, go so super fan as I did when I met um, Zahn. I think you're going to squee. I mean, I, you're squirming in I, your chair at the thought. I, I couldn't. I could barely speak when I met Zahn. Okay. I was like sitting there, just like, 
Well, yeah, I would who? imagine uh, that would be. Uh, uh, okay. Who? He, Zahn. Zahn who? The lady that played Zahn. Okay. Oh, sorry. You're not Timothy to... Zahn. He's not a Star Wars guy. Oh, okay. You were, you were talking about the character. Yeah. Gotcha. I can't remember her name. I'm terrible with names. I remember the character name. I... Yeah, but I can imagine that would be a squeeable moment. Oh, my God. I would love to meet Chiana. She's so cool. I know, right? Yeah. With her in Australian accent. Have yeah, you heard her yeah. talk? Yeah. Oh, man. I've heard her talk. She's actually she's actually also a model yeah. that she did um, bef- and, um, before, during, and after uh, Farscape. Yep. There was a, she did a uh, photo shoot that was pretty controversial, but uh, why was it controversial? Well, because she was naked. What is that? I don't. Okay. Well, see, it has nothing to do with anything overseas in Australia and Europe and right. stuff where nudity isn't as taboo as oh, it is here in the U.S. Because but we're here, all a bunch of about our bodies. Because we're all a bunch of Puritans. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks exactly. For yeah. Yeah. Thanks, D. Thanks for the assist with the words. Because we can't live our uh, because uh, Hi Hester Brynn, Scarlet Letter. Hi. How are you? Hi there. Yep. Indeed. That's yes, uh, our we card for gaming, gaming with Scott. Scott. Yep. We're a podcast. We play Marvel. Yeah. This guy right here is Scott. Yeah, that's Scott. We play Marvel. We do some Stargate stuff. We're putting together some storyteller stuff. It's we do we do random things where we talk into mics too, yeah. like what we're doing now. And we are now uh, covering yeah. press coverage for uh, Incon In 2016. 2016. Yeah. Yeah. It's going really, really well. This is my first Incon. Second. This is my second uh, sp- uh, a difference of almost a decade and a half between visits. Yeah, yeah. Your, your I'm kind of with Dan. Says committee. Are you? I'm running the masquerade. Oh, I we were just was talking about just you. Just talking about the masquerade. See, this is when we need to have our fifth mic up. I will mic not be up. here tomorrow. Yeah. unfortunately. Uh, we, we should. Well, we should probably. I just can always you know, up swap all out. Mics. You should. Tag. Yeah. You want to? You want to? Tag her. High five. You want to? Give her high five. Do you want to talk about the Give her high five. Tag out. Tag out. Tag out. See, well, I was just talking about the masquerade ball they were Hi. having, and here's are. somebody on Hi. the committee. Hi, what's your name? Hi. Deidre. Deidre? Yeah. I'm Deidre. Rico. I'm Scott. That's Scott. I'm Dan. Dan. That's cool. And Deidre, correct? Deidre. So, so. Deidre, what, what, uh, what do D. you... You were on the committee, D. and that's D. I am. Well, I would, but D's going to be like, he's going to sound like this, and then we won't hear him. <laughs> so, so you're on the committee. Yes. What do you do? Um, I run the masquerade. Okay. Um, for those of us listeners that are hardcore gamers, do you um, mean va- so what Vampire is, the Masquerade? No, it's it's <sighs> our cosplay costume contest. It's every Saturday of the convention, like nice. every year in Incon, Saturday uh-huh. at 8 o'clock in main programming, we have the Masquerade. And it's really cool. We have um, an adult's like, genre, like adults, and then we have children. And you get this really, I made these really awesome masks for the trophies and you get in con bucks to spend in the game room or oh the my. vendors room. And Oh my, it's really that's cool. totally cool. That's, that's awesome. Fun stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of fun. Do you guys do any cosplay? Uh, I do. Oh, what are your costumes? Um, I have one costume right now cause I just started. Awesome. I cosplay as Vizard form Ichigo from the anime bleach. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. I have no idea what that is. No. See, the, the only one I'm able to pull off is Harry Dresden. That's, that, you know, Minus the beard or whatever. Oh, that's cool. I think everybody should cosplay at least once. Like my co- my very should. first handmade costume, like head to toe, was a weeping angel from Doctor Who, oh, nice. which I'll be in tomorrow. Nice, cool. can't wait to see that. And full body paint. And full friend, body paint. Our friend D here is about to cosplay as a cool. cop professionally. Nice, awesome. Yeah, what? It's the We're best. calling you out. Uh, yes. See, and you can't you can't say anything because it won't be you heard. You don't have a mic. Yeah. You, you get Aww. no. There's nothing. You have been completely devoiced. Oh, I'm sorry, I really? can't hear you. Go with You're going to be Colossus at Gen Con. That's so oh, cool. Are you really? That You're is... going as Colossus? I really, like, you should do it now. Yeah. Like, you should do it for Incon like and be in the masquerade. Yes. And win some money to spend it in the dealer's room. Absolutely. Nice. So, photos encouraged to photos tweet, encouraged. tweet everything yes, out? Yes, everything. Do hashtag Incon or hashtag In Conjunction 2016. Yep. It's now, really fun. Is there an entry fee for no, the masquerade? it's free. It's included. Like, the fee, I guess, if there would be one, is, like, included in your badge. You just, yeah. like, there's a blue box with yellow stars at registration. You just fill out the form and turn it. As long as you're not naked or on fire, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Well, what if you're both? No, I'd have to stop you at the door. Like, okay. I will watch it. Right. I might give you money right. out of my own pocket to watch it. Uh, but very How good. else are you supposed to uh, cosplay as Johnny Storm? Right? Right. I think you just wear the Fantastic Four outfit. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't think that you actually set yourself on fire. I th- it's actually in the rules. Do not 
cosplay fire version of Johnny Storm. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. Very good. Because That's I was going to say, if you had to put on the most recent incarnation of the Fantastic Four outfit, yeah. I would want to set myself on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, That's yes. how that... The movie, people... wasn't, the movie wasn't that bad, guys. The movie was oh, a little oh, bad. Whatever. No, it wasn't. It was a little bad. Wasn't as good. Let's put oh, it this way. Man. It wasn't All as right. good as I'm Silver out, Surfer. I'm outnumbered. The it Silver Surfer was awful. Silver Surfer was awful. That's and it was worst. terrible, wasn't it? Yeah. That tells you how bad it was. So, All right, I'm um, on number three to one, listeners. Yeah, you should totally come and cosplay tomorrow then. You don't have to do anything in the masquerade. If you just want to get up on stage and just stand there, I don't care. Nice. I really want people to cosplay. Like, it's so much fun. My dad, who people who are listening can't see the gentleman back there in the Green Lantern on the scooter. My dad, that's nice. all he's done his whole life. He's part of Fiberdyne Laboratories and nice. he does, he's really big at Marcon and Gen Con and stuff like that. And wow. Oh, wow. So he sews. He does a lot of his original costumes well until he was. You know, in a scooter, but he's the you one know? that taught me how to do, and I can't wait to start doing more costumes. <laughs> That's fantastic. So I am glad that we got someone from the masquerade committee, the head of it, even. This is fantastic because yeah. we were talking about it as you wandered by, and really? I don't know if that's what caught your ear or what. Because no, we were... I keep walking by, and there are just these microphones, and you two just sitting here, yeah. which is I think podcasts are amazing. Yeah. I've always wanted to do it. But now you're, you're doing, you're doing, no, doing it right just now. Yeah, you're unlocked. actually doing yes. it right now. And this, I leveled up in life. Yes, this was you our, did. This was our whole setup. We we said, you know what? People listen to podcasts all the time. They, they do. watch podcasts. People don't ever get the chance to be live on a podcast. That's so cool. And that's why we set up here because we want people to be part of our podcast. We yep. want to podcast We're, at all the conventions we possibly can. That's so cool. And that's wow. where you can hear yourself. Oh yeah, that's awesome. our QR code. Click on that's our QR code, My purse and you is can all, oh, all the way over there. That's, but all, right. I that's okay. That's later. all right. We'll get you. That's yeah, awesome. we're gonna, I'm going to print those out and put them on the table so people can just. That's going to be yep. awesome. Yeah, it's fantastic. So I get expect to hear, to hear yourself. Yeah. yeah, I feel pretty special right now. It there is, it is. Isn't it? It's so. podcasting's great. Thanks. So for you do other us. conventions though. Uh, well, this is our. Th- this is my second convention with the podcast. Yeah. This is Scott's third or fourth or fifth at least. Yeah. Uh, Starbase Indie, we like um, Indie PopCon. We typically do. Um, I, I really couldn't do it this to year. Popcon. Gen Con, we're at. Uh, although we kind of rogue podcast. Warning, Gen Con, we're coming for you. <laughs> um, so <laughs> that's the best. We're going to do this one, uh, Starbase Indie, regularly. Um, Who's your con? Who's your con? Oh yeah, yeah. Who's your con? We did. You know what? We were Who's just your con? talking about Who's your con? Who's your con started off as a rogue podcast, and it turned into a whole official thing. Yeah. It was and it's even, growing even, at like twenty percent a year. Yeah. yeah, and it's a free it's, convention. It's yeah. nuts. They and just it, moved hotels because they've got so many damn yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's fantastic. So and uh, then stuff. we had the chair of uh, Hoosier Con give us a little sound bite too. Oh, by the way, since you're the head of the Masquerade Ball Committee, yeah. do you think you'd be able to give us a bumper? Do you have like a tagline or anything for good? No, the but I can totally ball? like I I don't really talk that much. Uh-huh. Um, we have a Toastmaster, which is Dr. Rob Pyatt, yeah. which is a constant guest of In Conjunction, uh-huh. and. No, we could talk to him about it. Why not? Oh my not? gosh! Don't everybody look now, should... but everybody over at your table is intrigued at your. That's at because your that's my entire family. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Then so gonna... like they've been doing this longer than like anybody else. Like my mom used to do the con suite for like ever. Oh, that's awesome. And then they used to do like the masquerade together. They did like this really cool fairy costume. So is it, is it like a family thing then? The the masquerade is um, it just being passed down. No, just down? the people that run the convention oh, originally. Okay. We're all one big happy family. We've been around to each other for like oh, wow. 30 something years. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That's all. This is pretty cool. This is legacy. Out. Yeah, this is legacy. So, this is a, the first, like, people. before Indie PopCon, before all yeah. that crazy mm-hmm. conventions that are here now, this was oh, yeah. it. Yeah. This yeah. is the I, only I thing you can do. 36. This is number And it's 36. been mostly here. It was either here yeah. or it was at the Sheridan at right. Keystone, but right. this is Sheridan. it. Sheridan. Yeah. Like See, you, the last, the other one I went to was the Sheridan. When, yeah. when it was over at the Sheridan. And then I'm here this year, so and I'm very pleased. It's good they, stuff. For being like, we had RJ Hattie last year, mm-hmm. and he was like, I've never been to a convention that's so family. Like, it just feels yeah. like a bunch of people in your family just get together and hang out for the weekend. Yeah. We don't have a lot of big, big names or, you know, big, big I things. I don't know. But Dan yeah. would disagree with Dan would, yeah. Yeah. So Bannon. Okay, We do, which is really cool. But I mean, like... We had we had like Glenn Shaddix one year, which by the way, he's fantastic. We had like, you know, big names, Jason Carter, Jason Biggs, all these people, but I mean, you know, for being this little homey convention yeah. it's kinda nice. 
Even yeah. though our attendance isn't as big as like some others, it's still kind of nice to get away and hang out with a bunch of other people that understand you and aren't like, oh my God, it you're was really dressed nice. as a weeping angel. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, it's not it's weird. Not weird. It's not weird at all. This, no, is, no. this is a great convention. Yeah. It's not the size Good. of your attendance that matters. See, that makes me feel so much better because I've been coming since I was like, yay, like really small. Wow. And I've watched attendance go up and we've been huge shoulder to shoulder. And I've watched attendance like this year. It's a little bit lower than usual. But well, but I'll tell you what, even dude, we're at Friday at nine twenty two on a Fourth of July weekend uh, on a Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, I this this has rocked so far. I have been awesome. very pleased. I'm so glad to hear even that. At ni- even by nine o'clock on Friday, I'm so glad I've been. I'm here. It's yeah. been a fantastic weekend already. Wait till tomorrow because tomorrow oh, we, we have like wait. the dance and the karaoke. Come by for some awesome singing. But (laughs) I am. I'm fantastic. No, that's mean. I'm not that conceited. Um, But no, like definitely come and do this again tomorrow. This will be really cool. Oh Oh, no, we're here. We're going to add two. We're going to add two mics. Yeah, and two chairs. And and two more chairs. Oh yeah, come back and please do. Definitely. Like if you guys want to talk to any of the committee members, just totally let me know. Like send them down. Like we have the con chair. We have next year's con chair that's here. Yes, we need. We need. We need to speak with that gentleman too before this weekend. So this year's con chair is Laura. She's right over there. We talked to her earlier. We talked to her earlier. Yeah, Joe Green. Yes. Hello. Hi, Laura. Yeah. Joe Green is our next Any year's relation? con chair. I have no idea. Your shirt's green. That's all we Your took with. Your shirt's okay. green. I didn't, yeah, like, I didn't know. Definitely. It's super fun. We have a bunch of people. I'm sure that'll love to sit down and talk and let you know. There's a lot of people here that have been to, like, there's, I know three people personally that have been to every single Incon. Wow. Wow. are here. 36 yeah. years of yeah. going to Incon. A friend yeah. of ours that we just had dinner with, they actually met at Incon and, like, got engaged and, like, Oh, that's oh, fantastic. That's cool. Making, yeah. ma- making magic happen. This yeah, convention, crazy. man. I love it. We're I love it. We're little, but we do magical things. That is fantastic. I, I guess I'll let yeah. Dee have his seat back. You don't have to. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. We, what are oh, we going to talk about leaving, now? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure uh, it out. He's out. Bye, D. He's out. Like, sure. I'm right. really like, I was going to do costumes today, but Nathan I got and really tired. So, what, other than a weeping angel, what's your... What, what's I have your, a rainbow fox. It's not anything exciting. Yeah. It's a tail and ears and like What would you heels. like to do if you, for your next one? What is, like? Um, my goal is Wonder Woman next. Oh, yeah. Nice. But... Um, like Linda Carter, Wonder Woman? Linda Old Carter, school? like original. Yes. Nice. Um, I kind of like that pinup thing that's been going around, like yeah. Pinterest and Facebook, where it's oh, like yeah. a full poodle skirt type thing. And yeah, but I think if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it like legit. I really, really want to do a Dalek. <laughs> really? <laughs> but like, <laughs> that's a lot of I, I that's a say, lot of fabrication. The fabrication on that. Well, I mean, I could do it. If yeah, I absolutely. Too. So absolutely. have you talked to like? Fiberglass freaks with the Batmobiles? No. Oh. oh my god. Where where are they? I have no idea. Oh, I will find them too. But yeah. they replicate the the, the Adam original West Batmobile. The Adam- yeah, I so saw that, that on the other job. day. Really? Was working up with Mark Raycop and Logansport at Fiberglass Freaks, fiberglassing the back end of Batmobiles. That's oh, that's awesome. so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's that's really awesome. fun. So it's really hot. This is in your you. blood then. Yeah, this- for real. Cosplaying and my dad is he was making, a huge cosplayer. Yeah. He's huge. is a huge proper replicator. Oh, nice! Like that's all, my whole life, like when I was little, we had a full size Yoda in the front room and like a Dobby <laughs> and like nice. But like my friends would come over and be like, "Do you know that you have a full size Do- Dobby or a full size Yoda or Ewok or whatever?" Like, Jawa? Yeah, yeah, we do. They're all just hanging out in the front room with the rest of us. So. She's legacy, guys. Because yeah, right. we were legacy. So. That's cool. Man, that's this is awesome. super cool. I, I think I'm more I'm stoked sure, so than I'll she go, is. I'm not staying at the hotel. I'll go home and get some pictures and stuff. Oh, we'll bring them back to you guys tomorrow. We would Absolutely. love to see it's those. so much fun. There's so much history, especially here with In Conjunction. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like, this is my first con. It's like the only con I really go to. I haven't been to Gen, Gen Con yet. I really want to go. Yeah. It's, it's a lot it's of the people. social anxiety. Yeah, right. Yeah. There's a lot of people there. There's a like, lot of do you people. know when they do the videos of like the entrance of Gen Con? It's like oh, Black Friday. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That Absolutely. makes me not want to go because the social anxiety. Like that's too many. I'm gonna get trampled. Well, well, there's 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 a couple entrances into the convention center, and you can stay away from that. Yeah. It's okay. Very yeah, can, easy yeah. to do. So that's like the main. Yeah. Yeah. The main thing. thoroughfare. Is well, just, and. I, and actually, it's not even the main thoroughfare because we'd say what Georgia Street's the main thoroughfare, whatever that side street is. Right. Is that the oh. East Street entrance yeah. or something yeah. like that? So that's not even the main thoroughfare. That's yeah. terrifying. That's like it's, 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 they're, they're using yeah, the it's Lucas rough. Oil Stadium this year for yeah. We get the basement of Lucas Oil Stadium this year too at Gen Con. Shit. 
Well, wow, so you get the convention center and Lucas Oil? Yeah, yeah. there's, there's an underground anything. tunnel you can go through. Yep. Yeah, which I really kind of want to ferret out. I'm going to periscope that. That'll be totally cool. Um, what is no, periscope? Uh, live broadcast video from Twitter. Yeah. What? So How do I not know about this? I can go ting, and we're all on video, and then Crazy. people can immediately. I don't have any makeup on. No, That's, he's not oh, recording yeah. right, right now. I'm not doing it right now. We can do it without first. consent anyway. <laughs> it's, we're, it's, Let's do we're this big later. Wait until I'm in costume or something. Exactly. Oh, i got to get the booty makeup or the costume. Could you, oh, right. a Periscope video while she's we here talking to us in costume? Absolutely. I've got like four costumes I want to do tomorrow. I can't be in the Weeping Angel long. Like, I'm a ginger albino with really sensitive skin. So the makeup gets crazy. Anytime yeah. I put any type of makeup on, it gets super crazy. So, like, yeah. I, I'll be in the Weeping Angel for, like, an hour and a half. And then have to change it. And then be like, all right, guys. You so have to did come you back. Come you have to come year? over. No. No. This is, this is my first in conjunction. Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. Family. Thank you. It's in awesome. 2016. This is, this is my jam. Many happy returns. Many happy. So you, you haven't been here in a decade, though. Uh, over a decade and a half. 16 years, I think. So, like, did you just, like, I don't want to go or just... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dan. Got too yeah, Dan. Why us? did you not come back? Why have I you left us like that? Notice I'm with us now. Right. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I this dividing line here. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> no particular reason. I just never. Well, never there was really a few reasons. Up. I mean, you had two beautiful reasons to eventually oh, convert oh, your your son. I didn't have those babies. till like 2005, 2006. Yeah, I know, but that's that's a reason why you would stay away from a con. Is Dan? He's trying to help you. Yeah. Okay. So babies, right? Yeah. He. Yeah. He. He had two children. That's awesome. And a marriage. So. Uh, and a divorce. And whatever. a divorce. But yeah, he's, <laughs> he's had some big, huge life things, things that have kept yeah. him away from, from conventions. That's, that's his experience. Yeah, you got the red hobby. cup. I did get the red cup. I got a red cup. Evidently, well, there's a blue f- cup. Red's my favorite color. Twinsies. Twinsies. Well, it's over there in my purse. Nice. On the other side yeah. of the room. They said you could have the red cup or the blue cup. I was there was probably ten or twelve blue cups left, but I really wanted the red cup. There it red is. is like Sith color, so I was like, yes, this. Yeah. I like her already. I do. I'm yeah. a blast. <laughs> uh, one of the best Sith cosplays I've seen recently was at Last Starbase Indie. No, L- Hoosier Con was the Sith Predator. Oh, I saw something on Facebook about that. Because I followed the Indiana cosplayers on mm-hmm. Facebook, which shout out to them because they're super awesome and super sweet. Um, but, yeah, they posted that on Indiana cosplayers. And I was like, that is amazing. And it was Everyone fantastic. Like, I don't think I've goals. seen that. I'm going to full gonna predator, up. Full Predator yeah. in the black and red, the Sith, the Darth Maul type. It oh, was it was amazing. so cool and really well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, really I, well I, done. I tweeted that I one out. I was up. impressed. Yeah, no, very, very good stuff. I liked it a lot. Um, Everybody's on their phone suddenly. Yeah, suddenly we're well, all yeah, over. Well, visual media. Yeah, I it, is, it oh. is a thing. Um, you gotta, you gotta I'm be not on my one. phone. What's, what's that group called? Because uh, Indiana, oh, Indiana cosplayers. cosplayers. It's, it's the fir- oh, they're a closed group. I can't. I can't. Yeah, you have anything. to be. You have to like send a request to join. Okay, right. I'll I mean, I'm pretty I'll sure they Google send it. everybody. Like, I, I'm except pretty sure everybody. they accept everybody. Yeah, like as long yeah. as you're not a jerk. I believe cosplay is for everybody. Oh well, I'm yeah. right out because I, I am a great a jerk. I had my kids do their first cosplay at Gen Con last year. Oh yeah, because uh, I, I went as Dresden, so I had uh, my youngest go as Butters, and my oldest went as uh, Blackstaff. Uh, can't remember his cool. name. Cool. So that's so fun. I like when the like, kids get involved. Yeah. yeah. Because, like, if you start them young enough, man, they can just, like, become phenomenal. And it's phenomenal. a great way to nurture it's their like imagination Halloween. and creativity. Exactly. I just said that at dinner. I was like, the biggest thing I love about In Conjunction is it's, like, it's Halloween in July. Yeah. And yeah. I can walk around this hotel and nobody is like, why is this crazy lady <laughs> wearing a wearing costume, costume in the middle of the hotel? Yeah. I really would like to go to one of the bigger conventions, um, like Indie PopCon or Indie Comic Con or Who's Your Con or something, where there's more cosplayers. Gen Con yeah. has an entire day devoted to it. I'm going to have to go to Gen Con. I'm going to have to break down and go, but tickets sell out really fast and they're expensive. Well, they, the prices went up this year at Gen Con. They're like Lame. $120. You don't have to go for all the days. Yeah, you can buy single day badges. Oh, okay. If you just wanted to go for Saturdays. Well, because this is a drive. Like, I live up north. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I'm still Scott in Indiana, but I live up north. Up north yeah. Well, how far north? Cicero. That's yeah, a lot further north than Scott. That's a lot further north than Scott. That's way further north than Scott. Where are you at? Uh, Fishers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're, so you're right like the, 30 yeah. minutes below. But, like, okay. well, no, fif- well, when I drive, it's 15. Does she still right. count as, as living north of 96th Street, Scott? Absolutely. That's I'm north is... of 96th Street. I'm north of See? 206th Street. So. Boom. 
Yeah. She knows. That counts. It's, it's, a, it's a running joke because he's always talking about people north of 96th Street are just better people. Well, I, I well, don't say that. I don't go that. south yeah, of 86th do. Street for a lot of things. Okay, maybe I do say that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm just, you know. Oh, here we go. The, um, did you find the picture? I did. But yeah, the Sunday passes are super cheap. What? Um, you can get like four Shut passes for 30 bucks. Is that door. not the most amazing thing? Yeah. That that totally is, cool. With the full Predator that dreads. That is amazing. With the, yeah. That took a lot of work. Oh, that's a oh lot of work. Gosh. That's a lot of work. Yeah. That, okay, that's just, pretty awesome. Yeah. How did I miss I want to cosplay, but I don't want to work that hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Is it's just oh, the wow. things that I want to cosplay as are like, yeah, like you said, a Dalek. And I'm yeah. like, like, oh, that's going to be a lot Well, of see, like, you know, growing up with someone like my dad, you know, we ha- did you ever watch Mystery Science Theater? Heck oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the right group of people. So we yeah. have a Tom Servo and we have Crow. And what's I funny Crow. is yeah, right. I watched my dad slave for months making yeah. these robots. And he's made out of bowling pins and yeah. like a little train mold. Like that's... And a bowl. <laughs> That's crow. And, yeah. a, and a net. Yeah. yeah. Those four things made crow. He's so, trying the, the so hard to show you some The pictures. incredible oh, amount sorry. of detail when you it's get into it. It's just mm-hmm. insanity. Like the six pack abs. I was like, Okay, that's work right there. Are it's those like, his abs or are those I, rubber abs? I didn't uh I didn't, because I I didn't need touch to know them. how to make we rubber been abs. Uncomfortable. And that would have been I I can't tell. Actually, it was that. I legitimately can't tell. Like, like, yeah, do they just ab inject ab silicone yeah. into your stomach and yeah, make like? Uh, these can abs. you tell if those are real I mean, abs or not? Those really do look real. I know, oh my right? Goodness, I can't tell. Yeah, I if they tell are either. rubber abs, kudos um, to whoever Darth did that. Yeah. And if they're not predator. rubber abs, kudos for your self control and yeah, dedication. Yeah, like <laughs> that is dedication. My um, husband works out like six days a week. Yeah, and I'm like, that's so cute. I want a Big Mac. <laughs> yeah. I want a big bag. Yeah. I want cheesecake. Uh, yeah, I'm the exact same Do way. My pie? fiance yes, works please. out like, every I'll day. Take two. If you gave me a choice of like an apple pie or running on a treadmill, I'd choose an apple pie. Like, right. Now, do you put cheese on your apple pie or no? No. Yeah, Weird. Amer- American cheese? Oh. No. Sharp cheddar, man. Sharp nope. cheddar. Gross. Why would you, you put gross. cheese on an it's apple so pie? You guys are gross. so Good. weird. How so gross are they? How now gross I have to try it, it because I'm, yeah. I'm definitely going to have to try it. Okay. That's my I'm favorite. outnumbered again. That's it. I quit. Why? What What? what cheese do you put on you there? You do get outnumbered. I don't put I cheese mean, on my why? apple pie. I don't put cheese on my apple pie. Why? What? You're not American. What have are you? Have you not tried this before? No, we should I ask random people it. and take a... Oh, there's Mark Raycop. He works with fiberglass freaks. There it is. That's Mark. How you doing, Mark? He's super awesome. Have a seat, Mark. Come on in, Mark. Oh, you've even got the Batmobile shirt thing going on. How you doing, Mark? Now, what I'm going to need you to do is bring this from up here. To da- Don't bring you up. Bring it down. It's perfectly fine. It'll move. I'm a than most people. Is that better? That is Hi, much how better. Doing? How, how you doing? Fantastic. How are you? I'm wonderful. And your name again. I'm sorry. Mark Rakeup. Hi, Mark. Well, uh, welcome to Gaming with Scott. You're on a podcast with a whole bunch of gamers. Who sorry, just I got you into something, Talk Mark. about all <laughs> kinds of stuff. So, Mark, tell us what you do, because uh, she was telling us earlier about Batmobiles and f- f- wild fantasy stories. I build 1966 Batmobile replicas for a living. They're officially licensed, full-scale, drivable know, cars. Right? That's his And I build job. them in Logansport, Indiana. That's his everyday job. Right there job. Uh, like he up off the Eel River in yeah. Logansport? That you is bet. fantastic. Who He's super thought? sweet, too. So do you, do you ever get up and just not want to work? Or do you just like get up every day and be like, I get to build another Batmobile today? <laughs> exactly. It's, oh. a, it's very exciting. I built my first car when I was 17 years old for a Batman fan film way back in 1983. And each car that I build gives me an opportunity to build it right, oh, to get it, nice. uh, uh, one more detail, one more feature, and one more beautiful. to get the quality level uh, and move each one up uh, another gigantic notch. And okay, that's what so, we do. so I saw your stuff. I saw it wander past my feed on Facebook because I have a bunch of the greatest geeks in the world that send me things. Thank and, you. And, and I thought I made a mental note to go to your site and do the thing. I have not yet had the opportunity to do that, but I have had a question screaming through my head ever since I saw this. Yes. So if I want my own Batmobile, what's it going to set me back? I mean, they start at one hundred and twenty-five thousand for the bottom end, and they go up for to, the bottom end. They go up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the one with all the bells and whistles. Okay, and that's it really the one does you want. shoot fire out the back. I've seen it. Exactly, I have seen See, it. And that's now I'm going to ask, 
what are the bells and whistles like oh, it, fire everything. and the thing we're like what do, you, what do you got what do you got everything that was science fiction back in 1966 we can do for real electric actuators to open the hood and trunk <gasps> it's with true a touch i've of seen a switch. it it exists lcd screen on the <sighs> dash dvd player rear view camera Shut the, the flamethrower out the back of it you oh, name it we can beautiful. do it the bat beam antenna grid that gold <gasps> fly swatter there's a little thing, bat yes. front windshields it there's raises and lowers there's a little red the bat, bat phone is a blinking beeping bluetooth batmobile bat phone and uh, you know, kids oh. do ask, what, what's the cord for? But <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. cord? Awesome. I think I think we found a, a good use of your four hundred one k, Scott. Yeah, I, right? I'm you should definitely I'm, contact Mark and wow, one hundred and twenty five. Because I don't know if I can all the bells and whistles. Well, we can I, mix and match. We'll yeah. do a custom quotation for people that that way they can go anywhere in between those two dollar amounts, it, and, and they're uh, beautiful. We'll make it work. We have completed twenty four cars now. Oh We've my got god, another, you're at twenty four now. We have n- another other nine cars that we're building right oh. now. So when I was working with Mark, we pre-ordered? were on bat like seven, <laughs> bat seven. I know. And it's now crazy. you're at bat 24. That's crazy. <laughs> so, okay. So, cause I was going to ask, so is there a market for, apparently this is a thing and you got nine on back order <laughs> with, with seven more on pre-order back order. Uh, right. Nine, 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 nine more. That were, Jeez. Right. Mm-hmm. That That's amazing. It what's is what's the lead crazy. time on one of those? How long does it Way take to too build long. one? About 18 months from the time when a, c- a customer orders a car to delivery because of the number of cars. It's about eight months to build each one. That's okay. really not that bad, though. Right. 18 months from so, order to delivery? So what kind of engine, what kind of performer? I mean, is it... 45 miles an hour top end, or are we... No, no, no. We would never do that. No. <laughs> Scott, it shoots cars, flames out of I, the back. I know. I thought I... I d- I've seen our it. Atomic it really does Atomic batteries to happen. power, turbines to speed. Wow. We can't get away with the prop car mentality. Our cars have to look good from six inches away. Yeah. And right? they have to really function, unlike you know the, the Hollywood prop cars. Sure. So we've got a 355 GM crate <laughs> engine for a low-end car, 383 with 460 horse for a mid-range, and an LS3 with 525 horse oh for a top-end car. Listen to this. We wow. have some Ford fans, too, and half of our engines have been Fords, and we had one that was a 514 stroker oh. and uh, 702 horsepower. It shook the building when we started. Oh, oh I'm so happy. Sure. And the crazy. people don't understand how adorable oh, your guys' faces are right now. Oh, like, you're the most excited yeah. people. This is amazing. The real <laughs> Batmobiles. Cool Get that out is, of yeah. here. But I remember like, the first time I went to your shop, though, Mark, it was like, oh, my God, this is really real. Like, he's legit making Batmobiles in here. People always go, oh, you helped do that? Yeah. Not <laughs> well, a lot of people. Like, who's in you want go. a Batmobile. Like, you wanted a Batmobile, right? I still want a Batmobile. Right. Yeah, I still want a Batmobile. It, until you go see it in person and you see the scale of the operation, you can't even comprehend it. It really, when you walk into that, that garage door and you're looking at an 8,300 square foot building and every single square foot has a Batmobile sitting there. And then you go to the building next door and there are five more. Wow. And uh, you go to the Do front you, room. There's two office. buildings? Yes. I thought it was only just the one building. Or no, have you expanded? We expanded. Oh. Um, oh but yeah, in the front awesome. room, then is our meeting room. It's our dining room. It's our uh, laboratory for our mad scientist that does all the electronics work. It's also our closet. And uh, we do all kinds of crazy things. There's a broom in there in somewhere. <laughs> That's great. Just in that one closet. There's just one broom. <laughs> my that my up office, a uh, lot of Batman memorabilia, believe it or not. And uh, a lot of uh, great things from uh, Mark, from your dad. Yeah. Again, back to my dad. He's yeah. done a lot of work this with is Mark. Why, this is why In Conjunction is quickly becoming my favorite con. I don't often get to talk to people who fabricate and do stuff like yeah, this. Yeah, it's it's not the biggest con, but it's one of the most fun cons yeah. because it's so of the homey. We were talking about involved. it earlier, just yeah. being super homey. This is just we're all a huge family that have been doing this for thirty years. That is fantastic. So, okay, where can we find you? Give me the websites. What's the Twitter? Give me the rundown on the... Fiberglassfreaks.com. You'd have to be a freak to get into fiberglass, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh, Check us out on Facebook. We're there as well. Lots of photos and uh, about 25 different videos on YouTube. Ooh, you have a YouTube. Nice. Excellent. Because we'll grab all of that. We'll throw it in the show notes. Yep. Um, We will... We will... uh, Any of the... We'll give you access to this. You can download any part of this. Make it your own. Use it. Thank you. It, it bothers us not. Um, we, we love to have people on. We love to talk about uh, the folks that, like I said, when I saw that come by, I was like, I have questions. I found the website. And yeah. he found the website. He's got he's it. He's all on it. He got his phone out immediately. Man, are you well, kidding me? I'm going to go. You'll probably, you and your listeners probably be uh, a little interested in one of our most famous customers. 
uh, Jeff Dunham, the ventriloquist that oh, does Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. Yeah. yeah. We are restoring the world's only drivable replica, the 1955 Lincoln Futura. There was only one car that actually became the Batmobile. It was a concept car that was the only one ever built. Right. And George Barris only five weeks, so he couldn't make a mold of it or anything like that. He actually took that car and made it into the Batmobile. Well, this the the guy that built this particular car took a Batmobile body and retrofitted it. He cut off everything Barris added and added everything Barris cut off to create the world's only drivable replica of the Futura, but it wasn't accurately done. Uh-huh. So... Hence, well, that's where we come into play. Oh, that's Jeff Dunham cool. gives me a call and says, do you know who I am? I'm like, yes, sir, I know who you yeah, are. Yeah, <laughs> I maybe have heard of you once or twice. Right. And, uh, and away we go. Oh, that's great. It was great. He invited us to uh, come over to Champaign to meet him and his lovely wife, Audrey, and we had a great time. Then uh, got to see his show, oh, Six my goodness, Seats. look at these. And wow. then uh, uh, he's a huge he's on the Batman website. fan. He's in love. I'm yeah. on the Facebook page he now. He has an 89 Batmobile already. Oh, wow. He bought one of the uh, 1966 Batmobiles that we restored, and now he owns this Futura, and we're Wait, he bought it. one from you, too? He didn't buy one. He bought one that we restored. Oh, okay. If you remember the one that uh, was wrecked a long oh, time yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, so it was a huge project for us, and uh, we restored it uh, as faithfully as we could and then took it a, several notches up as well. Wonderful. And that car is the one that was on Jay Leno. Yeah, last, I was just uh, about to yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking at it right now. They were, mm-hmm. yeah, Jay Leno's garage. Nice. How fun is that? We get to meet celebrities at different, uh, you know, comic book shows throughout the country. We were just in Washington D.C. Well, you're like the only licensed person, right? That Correct. can replicate. Right. So you can't get these anywhere else. Oh, we're wow. crazy blessed That's to be fantastic. the only officially licensed builder by DC Comics and Warner Brothers. Adam West drove one of your Batmobiles. He did. Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and you've shown him everywhere. Like you went to the opening of the IMAX 16, and you did right. Like of Dark all Knight sorts of different. Like I have pictures oh, of my nice. kids in your Batmobile <laughs> <laughs> that Dad like drove down because he knew Mark was going to be there, and like my kids are sitting in there. Not a lot of people can say that. That's fantastic. You know, for a lot of people, the bucket list is to sit in the, a Batmobile or drive a Batmobile. Right on my bucket list, it was drive to Chicago from Logansport, Indiana, and drive in downtown Chicago in a Batmobile. In a Batmobile. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, on the Dan Ryan or list. driving in on New the York, Dan Ryan the in real the... <sighs> Gotham City to drive. Uh, oh, I was teaching wow. Matt Lauer and Al Roker how yeah. to drive the Batmobile for the Today Show and getting to drive on Rockefeller Plaza. And uh, oh, oh that's insane. fantastic! It was wonderful. This, that's this, so this cool. guy's kind of a big deal. Oh boy, yeah, well, yeah. yeah I'm just you are. Throw that you out really there. Are. You're kind of a big deal. Because there were a group, large group of us who started out with Batman, and that was the ba- the, Batmobile. the Batmobile. There it is. You bet. And that's just fantastic. Man, you know, this a friend fantastic. of mine built a tumbler, and we were at Awesome Con a few years ago, and we had the tumbler right next to the 66 Batmobile, and he was shocked as the kids would walk right past the tumbler saying, that car's okay, but there's the real the, Batmobile, that's the Batmobile pointing at the 66. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Also, well, the tumbler is just atrocious looking, in my opinion. I was not a fan of the Tumblr. There are so many people that just stopped listening to the podcast. Was, <laughs> they were right. just like, I'm done. It was, I don't right. want to talk to you anymore. It was a unique vehicle, and they brought it into the storyline well, I thought, as a military vehicle. Sure. But it doesn't have the you grace of the 66. No, so no. I don't know where you're going. Um, I was at a, uh, at a car show in Auburn, and we had the Tumblr, we had the 89, and we had my 66 there. And it was fascinating. I was standing at the top of the bleachers going, why does the 66 stand out so much? Okay, it has the bright stripes, it has the chrome on it, and then it occurred to me, wait a minute, it looks like it's a finished car. Yeah. Yeah. The others, while don't. they're sleek, while they're stealthy, and that's what they're supposed to be, don't look like finished cars yet. Yeah. They, they haven't had their final paint job, the gloss paint job. <laughs> yeah, it's all mad. So after, it's all like your yeah. your Batmobile that yeah. you've made multiple times. What is your other favorite Batmobile? The eighty nine, the Michael Keaton. 89. I love yeah. the Keaton it has Batmobile. Graceful lines once again. Yep. It's artistic. It it has the Bat motif. I kind of love those fins on the back rear right. ends mm-hmm. of it. Oh, those are nice. Right. I love that Batmobile. Yeah, that, that was the Batmobile I grew up watching because I was born in 83. Gotcha. So that's, really that was good. my favorite I am Batmobile. I the baby of the group, beautiful. obviously. <laughs> oh, my God. I just got distracted by the little, the little BB-8. BB-8. That's yeah, just like gorgeous. went what across happened? the floor. There's a, there's a little BB-8. BB-8 that's remote controlled oh, using a cell phone. I need this in my life. Oh, this, look at this. This is why so we love trying to make a BB-8 this, is, this is where we want to Inventors, prop builders, prop collectors. Yeah. I want one of those. <laughs> they are awesome. Those are cute. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So, yeah, we'll Dad's to trying to make these. a BB-8 
which I think wow. would be will. super awesome. For River, she's three. She's like this big. <laughs> like, like a wearable yeah. costume? Like a wearable BB-8. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Again, we were talking about Crow earlier and how he made him out of like trains yeah. and a bo- bowling ball bowling pin, pin and yeah. a net. He, you can make BB-8 out of a beach ball. Yeah. Like yeah. just simple little things. Anybody can cosplay with anything Anybody. in their house. Exactly. I That's really fantastic. want this BB-8, though. We were doing like, cosplay with the, cardboard like and you duct tape. Because you know? it's yeah, adorable. Back in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> That's absolutely oh, fantastic. That's the Android, the Android BB-8. This, oh, amazing. Those things are so cool. I've never seen yeah. one live. I've always seen YouTube videos and stuff like that. Well, there it is. That's come down to in conjunction. Get it. Get the hookup. We what's, got everything. What's so cool is that they've they've been able to work out the features of BB-8 that they couldn't work out in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's the real engineers. In addition to their engineers, have now put their all of their minds to it. And have really been able to do a great job. His little and, head moves and, and everything. Go. Yeah, leaps and bounds. It's fantastic. Can you hear the sound effects being oh, yeah. played on the on the handheld? Oh yeah. Look how cute he is. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh it's absolutely fantastic. And it's so fun to watch people as they go Hashtag gaga squad goals. over the squad goals. BB-8. Like, Hashtag squad goals. Just this me and con- a BB-8. This nice. convention is amazing. I love it. I I hope we come back next year. Oh, oh yeah. no, sure. we will be here. We will be here. Oh, this is this is now a thing. Yeah. yeah. This is I am this, I am, this is so fantastic. You meet some of the most amazing people at exactly. the smaller cons. Yeah. 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 I mean, you get, like Mark's no, like the sweetest better. person oh, ever. Like the, the access <laughs> that we have to celebrities right. like this is well, just oh. because insane. because we've done in conjunction, we've done Gen Con and it's typically a wall of security between you and anybody you'd really want to have a conversation right. with. Like I got to shake hands with Edward James almost. It was great. How much did that cost uh, you? Nothing. It was free. <laughs> oh, I, okay. I walked right up to did him. Did you said, like run into him and uh, then just shake his hand like as an apology? Or it was, <laughs> <laughs> like no. I, I don't know how you get near these people. Uh, Teachers got jokes because <laughs> uh, because I I have a uh, I suffer from narcissistic personality disorder, which it makes me too. feel that I, I rule the world. So I will go places that other people we are will, going to clash. <laughs> will will not just I'll be like oh look there's Edward James almost and it's like well it's uh, uh, Star Bay Cindy, the first one that I did here oh, okay. was uh, John Delancey, was in the back of the restaurant when it was the old restaurant, and oh, it was okay. all roped off, and I went, that's Q, over a rope, over another rope, over a rope, past three guys, and like <laughs> went up and went, hi, can I get an autograph? It was completely fanboy, it was completely inappropriate, I might have ruined his meal, but we sat down and talked for like 35 minutes. Wow. And it was like... This is so cool because I was like really squee and it was a thing, but I will go places where, and it was right at the end, it was the Sunday, they were getting ready to wrap him up and I kind of went, whoop, passed a rope over a thing and went, hey, I wanted to say thank you for your work in sci-fi and in movies. It was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I just wanted to shake your hand. That's all I wanted. And I was out. So like last year, we had RJ Hattie from Face Off Mm -hmm. and super sweet guy, super sweet. And he's sitting in the dealer's room. And for me, he was my favorite because he did the best Tim Burton makeup and (laughs) all of his makeups on Face Off were just fantastic in my opinion. I wish I was here last year because I love Face Off. So he brought the Tim Burton makeup with him, like the chest piece with the drawers. So I'm just standing on the other side of the table, just staring at him like a loser, (laughs) Uh, just making that, oh. Like noise. A, like, a, like a fan girl. And there he it is. looks up at me and he goes, hi, I'm RJ. It's nice to meet you. And I was like, I'm Deidre. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> it's nice to meet you too. And so at the charity auction, because we do a charity auction on yeah. Saturday afternoon. A live charity auction. None of that we silent do. auction BS. No, it's yeah. legit. So one of the items was winning a lunch on Sunday with RJ. Oh, and my mom, again, across the room. I just I was in the back of the charity auction passing items up and I looked at her and I was like, I don't care what you have to do, but I need this in my life. Like I need to sit down and have a conversation with him. Do that. So my mom viciously bid on this and I won lunch with him. He got food poisoning. (gasps) Oh no. Like the night before he went over like to the Arby's or something, got food poisoning. So I come downstairs on Sunday. I've done my makeup, I've done my hair, I am fangirling it out. Like he had complimented my weeping angel, which made mm. me just like you were kind of a big deal. freak out. That's yeah. such a big deal. So on Saturday, I'd compliment in my weeping angel. And so oh. Sunday, I wake up and I meet him in the dealer's room and he is white as a ghost, pale, just does not feel good. Oh. So we go over to the beautiful skylight you know, bar over here uh-huh. and he's like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I have food poisoning. And I was like, we don't have to eat. I just want <laughs> I just, you to talk I to me. I just want to sit here with you. Yeah. I just, just want to hear you. The thing. So like he gave me advice on my weeping angel. He gave me advice on like all sorts of different things. And it was the most amazing thing. And I couldn't have done that at any other convention. Yeah. 
That's amazing. And That's he was awesome. never blocked off by security. Like, he sat in the dealer's room and sold his airbrush kits, his makeup kits. He gave autographs. And it wasn't like I had to pay $75 for an autograph either. I yeah. think I spent $20. Yeah. On my autograph. And then just he was like, oh, since I signed it, do you want a picture too? And I was like, uh, I do. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, please so yeah. he takes picture, the place. picture and my hands are shaking so bad <laughs> that the first three I took were blurred. And then the fourth one was okay. And he was like, well, we can take some more. And I was like, no, I feel really bad taking your time and this is free. So I'll just cherish this. And then after lunch, he walked over to the Photoshop guys and took like four photos with me. Like on magazine covers awesome. or whatever, oh, like that, nice. he, that was not oh. even part of the deal. He was just like, "I've had so much fun just hanging out." The that access let's go to celebrity photos. here right. is infinitely better than what I've experienced at other conventions. I mean, we're talking to the Batmobile guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just we're just hanging out with him. Yes, yeah. yeah. so, you know, and there's con- no like rope. Yeah, or charge. Con is yeah. fun, and that's the whole yeah. key: is that it's designed to be fun. It's not not designed to be a, a money making extravaganza. Yeah. It does all right. You know, they pay the bills and all that, but it's a nonprofit. It's designed entirely uh, to to enjoy it. Yeah. I I really like that you buy the badge and you get into everything. There's yeah. no there's no yeah. additional cost Tickets. or fee. There's a couple panels where sure. like you pay extra. Like last year, RJ did a, a face class oh, sure. where he did a full makeup, and you paid twenty dollars. Yeah. But that paid for the material to learn how to do that it. You used, right. yeah, Lila, okay. Lila Newar, I believe I'm probably saying it wrong, and she's going to be so mad. She does the little tiny hats. Don't worry, she doesn't yes. listen to our podcast. It's okay. She Yet. might. Yet. She That's might. true. She Yet. might. Sorry. But she does the Yet. little hats in the dealer's room. And yeah. like tomorrow she has a panel at like 10 a.m. And for $20, she's going to teach you how to make a small hat. And you oh. get to leave with what with you made. Hat? Oh, that's great. So like with RJ, we got to leave with a prosthetic piece. Or we got to leave with well, makeup. Cool. Or so you didn't like you that. didn't pay. You paid for the materials for the workshop. For me. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. for him. Yeah, he didn't make yeah. any money off of yeah, it. Like, that's, that's yeah, amazing. that's just that's amazing. fantastic. That's amazing access. I've got to mention something else, DJ. You, you actually are a celebrity here, too. Yeah. And there are people that walk no, up we to weren't you talking about the that. same way that you know, yeah. the... Da, 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 we were da, not da, talking da. about... Are we talking about Rock and Roll Starship? <laughs> no, well, we're talking about just you at the conventions. And uh, <laughs> when you're in <laughs> costume in particular, about. people will walk up to you the same way that you did to yeah, to RJ. Yeah, true. So I, I have a thing because my dad is such a great costumer. It really, and I'm, I mean, I'm biased. I'm not going to lie. Um, but his goal, or like one time he was in a costume and he got 54 pictures, like just stopped randomly 54 times. So I was like, I'm going to wow. beat that. So in my Weeping Angel last year, I got stopped 110 times <laughs> no. for photos. And I, was I, like, bet, I bet he was like, that's a chip yeah, off the exactly. old block. And he, like, he helped. Like he, we didn't put any effort, but like he showed me how to do things and like, I sewed on his sewing machine. We carved with his Ooh, tools, and like, nice. so when I came out, like, the it was just it was really cool to like follow in those footsteps and like, yeah. And then I was in Mark's movie, so I guess yeah, I'm in a, <laughs> I'm kind of a celebrity then. That's my I other mean, passion is filmmaking, and uh, uh, Magic House Productions is the name of my filmmaking company. The Batmobile business has allowed me to buy equipment and things to be able to continue that business as well. So we shoot feature films, we do documentaries, training videos, whatever pays the bills. Sure. And it's it's uh, great to be able to follow both passions. Well, that's wow. wonderful. That Living the dream. Fantastic. That's not that's not a that's not work. That's not a I job. I really want to wake up and go. That's a hobby that you I'm get paid make for. That's awesome. Mobiles today. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and then like make it really happen. Although, I don't know, like, I wouldn't wake up and just be like, I want to be a Disney princess today, and then actually make it happen. But you could, couldn't you, though, with your ability to costume and well, create? Like you, I, you could be like a Disney princess. Like I said princess. earlier, like, I'm really into cosplay. I'm just lazy. <laughs> like, I've watched my dad sit down for hours on end, up until, like, 3 or 4 in the morning, just sewing, sewing, sewing. I don't have that kind of patience. Like, yeah. I love to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> there it, it is. is. It I love takes a lot Big of work Macs, to apple do. pies, and sleep. Any of these projects, whether sure. it be a bat or whether it be costumes or props or any of these kinds of things, it's a tremendous amount of time, it a is. lot of dedication. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my heart goes out to anybody that's trying to do anything creative. And, uh, and I want to get that message out there that follow your dreams. No matter yeah. how old you are, follow your dreams that I am living proof with two of them businesses. I mean, he makes Batmobiles for a living. Yeah. Follow yeah. your dreams. Yeah. That's <laughs> a thing. I mean, and it was very funny because I've had the thought in the past. I'd love to get him. Nobody does that. Boom. Here we are talking to you. Do it. I mean, that's just absolutely fantastic. 
So I do speaking at high school graduations and things like that because mm-hmm. the young kids are going to be told a thousand and one times you can't do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which you can't, I you can't, can't. I do can't that. understand. The word can't cannot exist. Look at how many what? times you have a convention downtown at the convention center, and then Fox fifty nine or RTV six covers that convention, and they're like those sci fi nerds, and they make fun of those people yeah. that are walking in full stormtrooper armor. Yeah, you're behind a desk producing news. That person built an entire suit of armor yeah. because they liked it. Probably hundreds of yeah. hours hundreds of Hundreds of arduous hours of pain time. and yeah. no, no, you don't get paid. No, you pay out. The, yeah. You pay out, but you don't get paid uh-huh. for that. And even when you come to like masquerades, like we, because we're such a small company and a small convention, we don't have $1,500 total prizes for yeah. a masquerade. You yeah. get it's some in-con bucks that are good until the end of 2017's convention. Yeah. And that's, it's just something as a thank you to you. You get a trophy and a couple bucks to, you know, not a couple, like it's more than $2. But right. You get a set amount yeah. of money. A little, to go a little reward for your, for your dedication and, yeah. and your craft. Yeah. We had a girl who did a, um, the thing from Dark Crystal, it's Skeksis. I always call them sexies for some reason. Uh, that's why the song is, <laughs> I'm Skeksy and I know it. That's what That's it is. exactly <laughs> so what that is right there. So did it last year yeah. and she said she had spent... <laughs> yeah. She had spent over a hundred hours wow. just on her costume. On a Skeksis alone. cosplay? On a Skeksis yeah. costume? Wow. Yeah. It yeah. Beautiful. Do you have pictures of that? Uh, uh, let me go get my phone. Oh, yes. Oh, she's off to go get her phone. Wow. Oh, I knew that was going. Thanks, I knew that was going to happen. That. And it's, <laughs> it is so cool to see the creativity and the talent that goes on at these conventions. Uh, absolutely. And at this particular one. And Josh, yeah. no, he builds it's... Batmobiles for a living. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of them, some of them, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars cars. I've, I've I've gotten to ask every question I wanted to know. Thirty five of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was gonna jump on the bike. He's like, <laughs> so here's what I want to know. Oh, I here's, still, you here's can the totally thing. sit down and talk. I don't. I don't have to stay. Yeah, but you're more than welcome yeah. to. Oh, okay. You're great. Yeah, fun. it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, we we podcast with this guy every month. It's not every day that we get to talk to the creator of the Batmobile and. And the, the the daughter of the daughter of cosplay, cosplay legendary. Well, I mean, you're you're on the the masquerade I'm committee. On the committee, and you know, and you I'm know, I'm gonna wanna member. I'm gonna no. wanna periscope no. your weeping angel tomorrow, right? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, okay. So I'm planning to be here between ten and noon tomorrow. I oh, am I'm not staying it. in the hotel. Okay, you're not gonna be here. I, I have to work till one, so I won't be here till. No, late. I'm, must I'm come not gonna back. be here till ten or noon. I think oh, it's a process okay. well, to turn into a weeping angel. Right, and by the way, you can be at work on your phone on Twitter oh, and watch the Periscope. Yep, there I it is. That. I'm gonna yep. do a huge we'll shout you. out to Fiberdyne Laboratories. Um, you can find them on Facebook. It's the cosplay company and prop replicating company my dad is a part of. Mm-hmm. Um, they're on Facebook under Fiberdyne Laboratories, and you can go Fiberdyne Laboratories. F Y B E R D Y N E. And they do awesome and things. They do some nice. awesome fabricating, some awesome cosplay. Um, I remember being little and going to Marcon. Have you guys ever been to a Marcon? I don't even know what that is. It's another convention. Is it Columbus, Ohio? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Um, it's that pretty drawing yeah, over that, there. Yeah, they got that booth over so there. So when Fireden comes in, the, the hallways just kind of like part. <laughs> And they're like, Stormtroopers oh, and Darth Vader kind of and uh, oh, so fantastic screen um, accurate so this is Fiber costumes. So That's fantastic. And long cool before oh, the Fiber that. First and long yeah. before um, all these other Judge groups. Dredd. They did Judge Dread. There were no molds. Of... They created the molds. They oh, created it's a good legit. Joker. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joker. That's fantastic. Sculpts and. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that Boba Fett. The um, prosthetics for their vampire makeups are. Uh-huh. Amazing. Lehman is like a spandex god. Like wow. that man can make anything out of spandex and like Oh wow. Really. So this is a cool story. So Ed, who is in the Captain America costume, we had a this shield for sale in the charity auction a couple mm-hmm. years ago, sold for amazing amount of money. Well, there's only one grayscale version in existence and it sold at the charity auction last year. Oh, that's and so cool. the guy, one of the cosplay guys that actually cosplays as Red Skull, hmm. bought the grayscale Captain America shield and made a kick ass. Can yeah, we that's okay. Yes, that's okay. Yes. yes. Um, well, uh, PG thirteen, but that's okay. okay. That's a that's so a technical term. Don't drop the f bomb, but ass yeah. is okay. Very okay. good. So, so they made a really cool costume after it, and they just they do full armor. This isn't plastic. This is legit. Wow! Awesome stuff. They did iron like the the bus that you can buy for Iron Man. Uh-huh. 
was originally fabricated by Fiberdyne Laboratories. By Fiberdyne. Wow. That's so cool. When you look at some of the Star Wars books where they show the Stormtrooper helmets cut in half. Yeah. And you see the inside. Yeah. The, that was made by Fiberdyne. Those were Fiberdyne? done by my dad oh, and that's his so friends. Really wow. Yeah. Neat. That's fantastic. That's the no big deal. My dad, dad, my dad and his friends, they're, yeah, cool. they're oh, yeah. fabricating right cosplaying here, guts. Yeah. No yeah. big deal. So what was, I think my most memorable thing, though, is like what's funny is my dad doesn't do it for profit, which is really cool. Like it's because I mean, once you use, and I can't speak for Mark Raycop with the Batmobiles because you do do it for profit, and that's <laughs> okay. Do. And that's perfectly okay. But hey, some people uh, you're gonna get do paid. have that aspect where you do it for profit. It becomes a job, and it's not fun anymore. Right. Other than Mark Raycop, whose job nobody could ever not want. You make Batmobiles. That's <laughs> yeah. What do I do for a living? I make Batmobiles. Here's I am, my I am officially <laughs> jealous. I'll just let you know. I mean, it's okay. And that's guys, all right. It's, you know, it's, come up anytime. Give give Gina a call at uh, oh. 574-722-3237. Give Gina, my office manager, a call. Come up for a tour. And, uh, we'll it's show cool. You. Okay, show I have a question. Do you want that number to go out? Or oh, yeah. Do you, yeah, it's, yeah. it's public yeah. on the web page. Uh, oh, when, yeah. we, when we link them uh, yeah. uh, to yeah. the podcast notes, it's on there. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm just, I was, was going to be like, Give her a call. Come there may on only in. be like nine people that listen to this Ooh. in the entire world, but you don't want them all to show up all at your door. All nine showing up at one okay, time good. would be great because I can do one tour that way. <laughs> oh, very good. I hadn't thought about it that way. That is absolutely fantastic. We do about six tours a week. Really? Wow. On average. Oh, how, do you have time to, how do you have time to build cars if you're giving tours every week? Well, that is a question. Yeah. Yeah. But we have a full staff, too. I have that's, 20 people on staff. Right? Oh, there that's way go. more Crazy. than you. See, I was, I was a part of it floor. in Bat 7, and there was like eight of us. <laughs> right. And I only came like two days a week. Oh, wow. <laughs> and like all the bad things happened. At, like I got a catalyst in my eye. Oh, no. From the fiberglass. <laughs> Were you wearing safety goggles? No. Well, well, then, there it, um, I mean, but that wasn't like my, uh, my dad OSHA. didn't wear safety goggles. I don't have to wear safety goggles. Uh, <laughs> kind of thing. That is yeah. very, very much recommended. To yeah, wear safety with fiber goggles. Goggles. Please wear safety goggles, goggles, goggles and when doing fiberglassing. And, yes. Yeah. And, and safety and first. Masks. Uh, filter masks. The breathing masks. Oh, yeah. I did yeah. choose Breathe. a mask because oh, the smell of the fiberglass right. is just awful. Well, there you go. But it is such That's fun as you walk through the shop and get to see all of those things that we're working on, whether it be the cars or whether it be a detectoscope. That's you know the Robin the Boy hospital. All the twinder. stuff that goes into the cars yeah. too. Yeah, all the props that go into you it. See all of those um, items in their separate separate components, or you see them all combined together as they're being ready to be assembled into the car. It, you, if you're a Batmobile fan or a Batman fan, it, you're like a kid in a candy shop. Oh, sure. It's, it's that much fun. Oh, that's amazing. That people, is great. People come to Logansport, Indiana. Little old Logansport, Indiana. And there's from there. Australia, right? And this is one of their stops to tour in the United States because they want to come see the Batmobile Where the Batmobiles. Wow. Yeah. And like Logansport, Epic. there's like a church and there was a Ponderosa. Yeah, there was. There was. It's, it's not there yeah. anymore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We, we have a carousel, one of the original uh, 1840s Denzel carousels, one of the few remaining carousels in the, the world. Probably nice. world at this point, yeah. Uh, right. So we used to have a drive-in, it. but it's for. gone. Yeah, I think the one in the Children's Museum isn't even 1,800 years old. I think that's right. early 1900s. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I really like yeah. that carousel. Me yeah. too. I rode it recently awesome. with my kids. Oh, absolutely. Like, yes. Yeah. Who does it? There weren't yeah. a lot of like adults actually riding. They always like you know stand have, next stand, to the kid. I, I my was hands on the, the carousel horse, right, the I one that goes right up there. and down. Absolutely, nice. for sure. Oh yeah, that's a thing. You got to do you that. Follow me on and, Snapchat. And, that's hilarious. <laughs> 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 I like to broadcast my days. So so because the idea is Mark, like you said, follow your dreams. Do it. The yeah. worst case that the best case that's going to happen is. People are going to let you fund two separate businesses so you could follow your dreams. Yep. The worst case is you jump in, you have fun, you take your shot, and it may or may not work out for you. That- right. The average entrepreneur is going to fail at three businesses before they hit one before that works. Before they succeed. Exactly. And it's that willpower to go past those failures and keep on trucking and keep on making Did it Did you happen. have a failed Batmobile business, though? No. Uh, but I did have three other businesses okay. that were failures beforehand. So it, At least uh, you don't have to fail in Batmobiles three right. times before you get <laughs> it right. right. Oh, Batmobile was the one that took off. It's the one that worked. Oh, sure. Well, so. I'm not sure how that would go. Okay, I made a Batmobile. It's a submarine. Darn it! Failure number one. I mean, I'm, I don't see how that goes, but it. Yeah, Can you know. make a Batmobile into a submarine? That's an idea. Oh uh, no! I was but, about to say it could probably be I mean, sure converted to yeah. aquatic. Yeah. yeah. But, there you know, it is. When you take one of these cars, our first two cars we took to uh, pro cars, we took to auctions, 
And other cars had done very well at auctions, and our car was kind of in the mid-range. So it was a real question, the first two vehicles that we sold, as to whether this was going to work or not. Uh, we just broke even on the second one, ah. and it was pretty rough. And now, but, like you got Jeff Dunham calling you, right. and but our, uh, our when our uh, yeah the second pro car when it sold, I immediately got an order for a car from the runner up bidder, and then I made a, ba- a, a video called Batmobile Delivery Day, put it up on YouTube, had fifty thousand hits in one month. Wow. Four car sales came from that, and the rest is history. Look there at it that. is. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. fantastic. 24 plus back cars later. Right. Yeah. yeah. 24 with nine more in the pipeline. That's yeah. Do you insane. end your day saying, like, same bat time, same <laughs> bat <do>. channel, <laughs> like, do. before you go to sleep? <laughs> yes. That's how I would end every day. Oh, that's fantastic. And I'm, I'm an archivist. Like, when you close the shop down, do you say, we'll be back, same bat time, same bat channel? Right. And whenever I drive one of the cars in or out of the shop, I have to turn on the beacon light. Absolutely. Oh, that is so cool. Why wouldn't you? Whenever you, we start yeah. a car, you were saying it earlier, atomic batteries to power, oh, turbines, turbines to speed. Yes. Ready to move out. That is so fantastic. I feel like you can't sell the car until you've said that in every single yeah. car, though. That's right. Like, that's that's fantastic. Fantastic. I love to drive it's these like a cars. Blessing. It's And it's so much fun to test drive them and get them out there. We put about two or three hundred miles on every engine because it's a brand new yeah, train engine. Yeah, you got to you gotta right. break it in. Right, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Huh. And what better way to do it? Are then? you looking for anybody to come help with that particular <laughs> part? Bra- the bra- the do, you, do you need I wish test our drivers? insurance would allow that, but yeah, okay. uh, only don't let it fool you though. Okay. Like, when right. I was helping with the Batmobiles, I was like, I can't wait to drive one of these things. And he was like, it's not as easy as you yeah. think. Like the blind spots. Oh, it's sure. Huge. It oh, yeah. It's a huge 18 car. foot, 10 inches long. So Whoa. You actually brought the Batmobile Ooh. to In Conjunction one year. It was the I same did. year we had Sammy Terry as a guest, right? Right. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Rest so in peace. That was back yeah, in rest 2000. In peace. Sammy yeah. Terry actually came to my dad's 40th birthday party. Like, oh, in the house. Oh, yeah. no true. way. There are photos. Get out. Oh, my gosh. I have That's photos. amazing. Have, it's it. He came. He did the whole Another story Another Hoosier thing. icon. Old yeah. Sammy Terry. He was here. He was a guest. It was su- the sweetest guy you'll ever meet. Man. Oh, yeah. I've heard nothing but good things. Yeah. Did his son take over or his grandson? Son it was his son. his son. His son took over. His son took I've over. met his and son as I haven't well. met him, but Sammy Terry was just the sweetest guy. Yeah, yeah. So, like, he came to Dad's party, and he was only, like, supposed to stay, like, four hours or two hours or something. And he ended up hanging out, like, the rest of the night <laughs> in makeup. Oh, that's great. Like, Dedication. by the fire. It was awesome. Dedication. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Then what we're going to do, um, I, I have to celebrate in conjunction because... Uh, there are the the uh, again the access the people the uh, I'm I'm a geek about a certain number of things and when I see something geeky I go oh that is so cool I that's go, exactly, exactly what he goes do. I yeah. go I go that is magnificent the, the grayscale shield and, wow and what I do and Captain what I America do shield. is I beeline for it and I'm yeah. like I want to ask questions I want to talk I want to do these things I like to roll around in the whole like if it's the geeky stuff that I love be a geek go go right. enjoy I mean yeah yeah it's microscopic and yeah it's really you know pointed and it's this really like oh who pays attention to that but if those are the things you love you got to go out and do them and right. uh, Mark you are an inspiration um, De- Deidre, you are an inspiration. Aww. These are the kind of things for like Thanks. the masquerade. These, these are the type, and the the you should thing, really cosplay tomorrow though. The thing that I love about cons like this, the smaller cons, I like Starbase Indy. This is uh, just from this evening is one of my favorites, and I will be back year after Aww, year. I mean, yay. I can tell. Awesome. Is the idea that I can sit down as a gamer who's a geek and do these things, and I can ask the questions and have the people on the like you guys were just walking by. And it was like, yeah. hey, come here, come here, come here, sit down. <laughs> and it's like, okay, let's do that. That's fantastic. Right. And I think a lot of it, like we were talking about earlier, has to do with the fact that there are no ropes here. Yeah, it's the level not, of access. The access. There's the not access, a bunch yep. of people breathing down your neck being like, okay, they're doing a podcast, so you got to be really quiet, and you nah. got to be really, like... No. you got to be quiet. You can't go near them. You no. need to wait your turn, or you're not charging people to sit down and have a conversation Oh, absolutely with you. not. Absolutely you can't go not. talk with the celebrities because they're in a cage over yeah. here. Yeah. 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 The thing yeah. about this convention, too, is right now, like, what is it? It's... 10 o'clock at yeah. night, and this will stay like this until 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. If they're not in Barfleet, yeah. they're, or they're not in the con suite, they're going to be in the atrium here. And a lot of people, like, there are people here that I only see at Incon, but it's as if no time has passed. Yeah, yeah. right. We yeah. pick right up 
to where we Instantly. were when we left on Sunday of last year. Yeah, we got super mm-hmm. lucky getting this table right here. Yeah, no, yeah. it was absolutely fantastic. And I'm, I'm no, this is great. I think this is a great opportunity for other people out there also to realize that you're not the only one, right? Who likes these things? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. And oh, being yeah. a nerd is really cool right now, just yeah, so everybody is. knows. Yeah, it is. Not that, that I know here, what's cool. In conjunction, who said it Who said it earlier? Every niche will be itched. Was that, yeah. was that Kennedy? Every No, that was mine. Well, every, was that you? Every yeah. niche will be itched. Every niche will be itched here. I mean, it doesn't conjunction. matter what your, you know, please specify type of goat. Right. Uh, we will find, like, Star oh, this is the this Star Wars, has Doctor gone Who, from Batman. We had a oh, yeah. renaissance oh. thing for a long time. Like, we had people coming in doing jousting and sword fights and stuff like that. We had Sophie Stitches doing oh yeah um like renaissance gear i'm getting stared at oh. by my family over there yeah you oh, are right. well, then, <laughs> well, this, my family just staring at me all crazy right people. well then i'm Why gonna wrap they? i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> grab the steering wheel and sort of wrap us over to, the, right. to the round of the thing uh oh. give me your you, deidre 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 no yep. i meant the whole thing Oh, with the chair and the the or the on the committee oh, for yeah, tell, yeah. I, committee okay. the whole thing. Um, that, I sorry, I, says, this this hand gesture doesn't tell. I didn't much. know it That's, was a floppy hand gesture. I, I know. Like, it's is not he telling me to thing, leave? Is it really? Right. And like, am I like a wrong I should have gone with get out. Okay, I'm sorry. So my name no. is Deidre. Mm-hmm. Um, I am the. <laughs> she looked at her bed. She's like, I am the. Wait, is that upside down? There you go. Oh my god, this is the first time in 20 years they've spelled my name correctly on my badge. Are you serious? Little victories. There oh my god, is. I'm so happy. Usually my name isn't on my badge. Like a friend of mine ran registration. I was that S word crazy for like three years straight. That's just what my badge said. Wow. All right. Already. So I'm on the committee, the ConCom committee, and I do the masquerade. And it's at eight o'clock on Saturday, so tomorrow. Eight PM. 8 p.m. You can register at registration with the blue box and the gold stars. Put your envelope in there. Um, when registration shuts down at six tomorrow, registration for masquerades closed. But you can always come last minute. I want to have like a bajillion people. Nice. I only get an hour. But Back in the public, going in and observe, just watch. Yeah, Sweet. yeah, no, we don't do prejudging like most cons do. Yeah. So don't feel like this. It's it's not about okay. yeah. A, it's not about the contest, in my opinion. It's if you worked on a costume and you feel like it's really good. Come up and show me. I'm not going to prejudge you. I'm not going to look at your stitches. I'm not going to look at your seams or seams folds. or anything like that. Yeah. I'm really just wanting you to be happy about your process and your project. To go up on stage, you can say nothing. You can do a song. You can do a dance. You can do a skit. You can shake your butt for all I care. But I want. But do not be people, naked or set yourself on fire. Do not be on fi- be on fire and do not be both naked and on fire. Thank you. So we had to come cover and both. see us, and I'll. Definitely stop by. You'll be here after one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right. Thank well, you for your time. I will definitely time. stop by we my weekend it. angels tomorrow for you guys. And maybe you sit will. Down and chat. Fan- fantastic. You will be impressed. Yes. And Mark, give us the spiel one more time. Fiberglass Freaks out of Logan Sport, Indiana. We build 1966 Batmobile replicas. Oh, that's so cool. Website is buybatparts.com. There it is. There it is. All righty. Thank you very much, boys and girls. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, you're listening to Gaming with Scott, and you'll hear from us real soon. Bye. And that'll do us tonight for Gaming with Scott presents Behind the Masks, a Southgate media production. You can always send us an email at GamingWScott at gmail.com or catch us on Twitter. Josh Elliott is at Asmodee369. Dan is at Malkware. Josh Jackson is at ActionJack853. And Rico is at R1CO. Or me, Scott T, at GamingWScott. You can also find us on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash GamingWScott. Remember, super fans, the more you share, the more we make. If you love what we do, share it with your friends. If you don't love what we do, please share it with us. This show will only be made better by listener participation. Send us email or comments on Facebook or send us a tweet of the things you would like us to discuss. We promise we will get your comments and topics on the air. And as always, you'll hear from us real soon.